I'm originally from India, now living in Phoenix, Arizona. For the last uh, 40 years, I've been living in America. I'm a technologist, specialist in artificial intelligence. Half the time, 20 years or so, I worked in universities, and then I moved over, worked in industry, retired now, uh, thinking about society, what uh, the world needs, and how is it that I can be of service through technology. So the work uh, I do is called Technology Initiatives for Peace. What do you think the future of artificial intelligence is? Where is it headed? I think the artificial intelligence, when it's just about to break out of its shell, the shell I'm talking about is that artificial intelligence has been thinking very hard about what goes on inside a brain, what goes on inside a single mind. When they start thinking about how people interact, look at how groups and behavior is of that is controlled, how social behavior is controlled, and we can put that into artificial intelligence. I think a whole new world of AI is going to be coming out of it. Is that new world going to be a good place or a scary place? It will be both. It will be a good scary place, uh, if you like a good scare. Uh, what it is is that it, it will be what we want it to be. It will be what we make it out to be. If we take an active role in shaping it, I think it will be a good world. If we let it slip and let it evolve to wherever it is, then it will be a very scary place. Yeah. Tell me about some of the things we might see in a world that has advanced artificial intelligence. Oh, advanced artificial intelligence. You will have, uh, for example, uh, help in monitoring your relationship. Uh, one of the things we heard earlier today was that, you know, uh, some century ago, uh, people would live a lifetime meeting maybe 500 to 1,000 people. And we lead a lifetime in the 21st century now, uh, having 5,000, 10,000 circle of friends. And it's likely to ac accelerate exponentially into 10,000, 100,000 people that you'll interact over a lifetime. And uh, the human brain power is not enough to keep track of all the friendships and maintain a lot of friendships over long distances and infrequent contacts. Or if they are having frequent contact, you get overwhelmed, I think. Uh, uh, artificial intelligence will help us maintain our, our social lives and uh, be helpful in that way. What, what sort of advancements or discoveries need to be made before the artificial intelligence really becomes something? Uh, the key element that has not yet been addressed, but just people are beginning to address, is the element of trust between individuals and in interactions, trust that is expressed in our language, trust expressed in our behavior, and being able to, to focus on that and to know how to sustain it, how to build it up. Yeah, so that's where I think uh, once, once the trust element begins to be attacked, then the whole social interaction world uh, will emerge very, very, very quickly and will allow us to create these larger community that we all envision being part of. And everybody wants to be part of the global citizenry, uh, but we don't have the means to do it if we only rely upon uh, biological brains. I think we need the augmentation that uh, artificial intelligence will bring to us. What, what haven't we talked about that you think is important about the future? Uh, values. That uh, the if you think of the future, it's like driving inside a car, and you know somebody's got their foot on the accelerator, because when you hear Kurzweil taking you all the logarithmic curves that he's talking about, you know the accelerator is doing great. But I want to know who's got their hands on the steering wheel. Where is it going, man? And those are, I think, the values. It has to, we have to have a values compass, and we have to have a uh, a consensus understanding about what the values are that we are striving toward, driving toward, <laughs> literally. So we, I want to know who's, got, who, who's, who's getting their hands on the steering wheel, and I'd like more people to get their hands on the steering wheel, and i like to have an understanding of uh, where we want to take it so that we are going where we want to go. Great. Thank you. All right.